All right, we're going to attempt to do a 9,000 plus shovel out of iron with a single level of touch of pata that gives me 10% extra hits. So we'll see those uh, as we go. This is not meant to be a like introductory blacksmithing course. I'm not going to cover the shapes of the tools and force and hotkeys and camera views and all of that. Uh, this is a focus on shovels to show you how uh, I start them, which Sunstrider Sun showed me how to start them this way. Um, and then just to kind of give an example of me working one into shape. So uh, we're going to load up the iron here. And I am in the triple F8 camera. I work it from the back. And so we're going to start with shaping mallet on force nine. Uh, and this is the, the starting pattern. We come in one coordinate from the back corner here towards the front edge. We do that on both sides. And then the hex that shows up from the shaping mallet, I hit this corner right here that it forms towards the edge on both. And then on this, uh, we've got three coordinates across. You're aiming for the middle one, so just right in the middle of this flat section. And then you hit the very corner edge there on both sides and the very corner edge there on both sides. And this is what we end up with, very anti-shovel, right? This is what we're going for. We've got kind of the inverse. But what we've accomplished is pushing a lot of metal up into these edges around the back. And now we have to take care of this centerpiece. Um, so again, I just do this whole start from the back real quick. I'm just kind of slowing it down here. Uh, so we're going to just do a, a run down the center. Now, because of the way the coordinates are offset, every other row has a center point, right? So there's the point here, and then this next row doesn't have one in the center. It's got two to the edges of the center, and then one in the center, and then two to the edges. So we're skipping every other row so that we can just hit the center. So center, 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 center. And then we work it right back up from the back now. So center, and then you can see it kind of creates this leading edge and you're just hitting the center of that leading edge each time. So right up the center again. That gets us to this. You can see now it's starting to look a lot more like where the metal's supposed to go. So the next thing we do is shape the front a bit. Um, and so we're coming into the fourth row. So row one, row two, row three, row four here. And you can see there's kind of this first ridge, second ridge. And so we're hitting right where this second ridge kind of peaks on both sides. So one there and one there, which leaves us with this. And then we tap down these front corners. And now we're gonna tap the, the center back out of this front here. And now is where I switch from a nine to an eight. Um, now, what I just showed you is slightly tweaked from Sunstrider. He leads with a couple of eight hits instead of nine, but Sunstrider's got a level of precision that I don't. And so to me, it's simpler to just stick with the nines to this point. But now we're gonna go to six. Um, I hit down this center piece here, and then I tap these edges. And then, um, Sometimes I'll start to improvise from here, but what Sunstrider showed me was uh, to work the front again. So we'll go back up to a nine. And he said he comes back into the third row. So row one, two, three, four. So row three, right about here on both sides, tap the center. Uh, and so that's, you know, 5,000 in 35 blows. And this is pretty much the start. From here, we're gonna improvise a lot more. Uh, you know, the improvisation starts very similar typically and then progresses so i'm gonna work this center down a little bit more there while it's malleable i'm gonna go a little extra because i know this part tends to work back up a lot and now we're going to start smoothing out these edges so i'm going to come back to a six here and start tapping these down Now I'm gonna come back down to a five. So 
looking pretty nice. So we're at 7,400 and 60 below, so that's not bad. My goal is generally to be at 8,000 quality, no later than 100 blows if I'm going for a 9K. Um, that last 80 plus blows, depending on your pata, is where that last thousand really kind of comes for me. So we're on good shape for that right now. The center, you can't keep hitting with the uh, shaping mallet. When it gets to this point, you got to start working a little bit of ball peen in there. So I'll get to that. Um, let's step back up to a four for a few of these hits. The force, you just, you got to get a feel for. There's no substitute for practice. And I still am always learning to feel a little better even. me up too much so we're up to 8,000 in 81 blows that's that's good Let's see if we can't get this last thousand out sometimes I'll still mess it up from this point but, uh, I am not a Sunstrider tier smith <laughs> Sunstrider will take it all the way to uh, about 9K with the shaping mallet, other than a little bit of the center work he has to do. I don't usually take it quite that far. I have a little more success getting to 9K if I switch over to the ball peen a little bit earlier than that. And, you know, as you'll see, I'm not hitting the point where the metal goes down. I'm off with the shaping mallet. I'm usually hitting next to where the metal goes down. And, you know, I'm not really going to cover those things. You just got to get a feel for the tools. See that one? I missed on a little. It's aiming for the ridge there. So, I think I can actually tap that down a bit with the shaping. Yeah, that went well. Just gonna work a little bit of metal out of the front here, which is a common theme with uh, shovels. I'll come down to a two now. Continue working some on it. is getting to the point where I'm going to start working the center channel. And again, you got to learn which rows have the exact center point and which ones have the offset points. Particularly important on the shovel. You'll see I don't always move up. I moved back a little there, but it'll come back around. We still got 50 hits, so we definitely should end well above 9K on this one. say that, but there's always opportunity to screw it up still.
Jeez. That was not a good run of hits. I should have been well into the 9,000s by now. But still a good training video at least, and I'll still end up with a 9K tool. All right, we're down to 80 blows. I need to be a little bit pickier on what I'm hitting. You really want to maximize what you start to go for as you look for areas where there's raised right next to low. You stop worrying so much about the overall shape, or at least I do, and I just look for these spots where like there's this raised right next to a low. That's where I start hitting. So here we got a raised right next to some lows. Give that a little tap. This is raised right next to low. Give it a little tap. Raised right next to low. A little tap room. That's really what the last series of hits is about, is just hunting those down. They're the most likely to give you those little boosts. Yeah, so, you know, definitely had opportunity to score higher on that shovel, but I'm not gonna complain about a 9172. Uh, hopefully you learned something at the very least you can review that starting pattern uh, which helps get a lot of the metal kind of in the right general area quickly um, and yeah just shape them out and ball peen don't bother with the round hammer occasionally I'll do a, a touch of the chisel on the front there as you saw good luck out there